Great, John. So next up, uh, a recent regular, and I hope he continues to be a regular, Anton Yakovlev. Some words were said. One contest win transformed my elder friend into a man unfit for human warmth. <laughs> he went from trying to be understood to letting everybody know who's boss. He won with a short film. The night before, he said in confidence, I know I'll lose. Suddenly, he was quoting his own scripts with confidence. By God was he in charge. You see, the things that made me a success, he lectured friend and foe, whether without solicitation, with a righteous air, implying only wimps would fail to heed his valuable advice. He questioned my intelligence and tapped if I misspoke. Just look at the big idiot Anton, he'd say out loud in public, as a joke. So what, he would confront me, if I'm rough around the edges. Stay with me. You'll get to places it would take you 15 years to get without my guidance. Mark my words. He justified his lack of tolerance. Someone around here has got to have control. Unfortunately, you don't get control by being nice to people. Others shrugged, made other plans, and silently walked off. At first, I did my best to look beyond the obvious. I stuck with him, but then some words were said, and we fell out of touch. Years passed. Sometimes I'd see a trembling kid who I'd find out worked for his studio. All others would be normal in the room, while his employees sweated like a sponge. Roommates or friends would tell me that my old acquaintance had lost weight, all bile and nerves. Fame did not come. No other contests won. Electric bills were getting hard to pay. One day he must have looked me up online and noticed that I too had won a prize for something I had written. The next day, I get an email. How the hell are you? It's been, oh Jesus, it's been much too long. What are you up to? What a lovely win. I'm glad you're getting noticed. Let's grab Blanche. Got to catch up on everything. I said I'm gathering twilight. The forthcoming storm tickled my neck. The window made a sound. Standing out on my balcony, I thought back to the little movie he had done. A bowler, striving for a perfect game, spoke to the screen. You have to keep it light. That's how you get them all to give you space when you are near your goal. Don't look behind your shoulder for approval. That's the key. The movie ended with that perfect game. I closed the door, went back to my PC, and pressed delete. We never spoke again. <laughs>